The Christian teaching looks not only at who God is, but also at what God does. And so at this point in the book, Odin shifts his focus to from God's being to God's working. And much like in the conversation around God's being, there are many things about his working that we simply don't understand. Many things that we'll never get an answer to. Uh, for instance, how did God create the world? Scientists and scholars have long argued this question, right? And even within Christian circles, there's a lot of different theories about how that all played out. Did God create the world in a literal six days? Uh, was a day more like a time frame that was thousands or tens of thousands of years? Did God use evolution over millions of years to create the world that we have? All great questions but likely will never be answered and certainly don't provide the level of consensus that Odin is looking for in his book. And so he doesn't focus much on that side of things. But one thing that we all do agree on is this, that the living God created because he is by nature life-giving and life is a precious gift. You know, nothing lives without first being given life. No creature, human or otherwise, got here by choosing to be alive. No, God gave the gift of life. He is the giver of life. But even within his creative power, it's not found just at the beginning of history, which is where we tend to look, right? We, we tend to look at how we got here. Uh, but Christianity wants to ask a different question because we see God's life giving his creative power at work throughout history as well. And so we wanna ask the question, why are we here? Why did God create us? Uh, and God created all people, but it's important for us to remember as well that he also created his people out of nothing. Uh, the people of Israel were nothing when God established his covenant with them. Uh, he created them from the dust and established that covenant that we now see mirrored in all of human history. Odin says that creation is made for covenant. So what does that mean? Uh, well, all of creation is a process. It's a really, really long developing relationship between God and his people. And so while the covenant is seen from very, very early on in creation, the meaning of it continues to be clarified over time. And it's hard for us to see that because we live in the here and now, but if we could just zoom out a little bit, if we could zoom out and we would see that the development of the relationship between God and his people. We have centuries worth of stories to remember and learn from. Thousands of events and moments in time that point us to the dependability of God and his faithfulness to his covenant with us. And as all good stories do, a climactic ending is coming. Christian theology calls this ending consummation, uh, where God's people will experience his full and complete renewal of all creation. But here and now, uh, we get to see God work in different small ways as he continues to create and recreate his work. And this really is the best answer that we can come up with for why God created us. Uh, because within the fabric of existence itself, we see God's life-giving covenant to restore and renew his creation with the absence of sin and brokenness. And within the story of creation, we see this playing out on a much more personal level as well, because he created you to share in his life-giving existence. And God is in that, he is at work in you through the life-giving redemption that Christ offers, through that sacrifice to recreate you. Christ reveals the purpose of creation. And the Spirit is at work in us to create a new community of faith, hope, and love, a resurrected fellowship in a fallen history. Uh, Ambrose said that God is glorified in an extraordinary way by the creation of intelligent beings capable of praising Him. Uh, one way this has been famously stated in response to the question, what is the purpose of human life or uh, why were we created? And it says this, to glorify God and enjoy him forever. Uh, so spend a few moments today praising God for the gift of his wonderful creation.
Thanks for watching. I would love your help building up the TCB community. So please share my videos like this one on your social media platforms and be sure to sign up for our email list for more great content.